Hello and welcome to the first video in the Pandas video tutorial series. In this video, we'll start a, a learning journey of Pandas. So before moving on to the core technical steps of Pandas, let me give you a very important note that Pandas is one of the most used tool or library that we'll be working with when we perform data analysis or visualization. So mostly the data sets that we have or the CSV or Excel file set we'll be getting to analyze will firstly store them into a pandas data frame and all the operations will be performed later. So this is the core of your data science journey. So please learn it very carefully. Now, first of all, let us understand what is pandas. So pandas is a Python library used for working with data sets. As I told you, all the data sets that we work with will be stored in a pandas data frame. We'll cover different data types that pandas offers like series and data frames, etc., etc. in the next few videos. But as of now, data frame is the most important thing in the, the data analysis lifecycle. Now it has functions for analyzing, cleaning, exploring and manipulating data. So once we store the CSV or Excel data into a pandas data frame, then we can perform cleaning, exploring and various, uh, we can analyze the data. Now the name pandas has a reference to both panel data and Python data analysis and it was created by Wes McKinney in 2008. So this is just a basic introduction about pandas. Now, why should we use pandas as I told you? Pandas allows you to analyze big data and make conclusions based on statistical theories. So we can also clean messy data sets very easily in pandas and make them readable and relevant. Now relevant data is very important for uh, data science purpose. So uh, to, uh, to get a decent conclusion or a conclusion that is impactful or meaningful for an organization, it is very important that we analyze the relevant data. Now what can pandas do? Pandas gives you answers about various things like is there a correlation between two or more columns or what is the average value for, for a certain column max and minimum values of the column. Now pandas are also able to delete uh, the rows that are not relevant. We can also remove the rows or columns in the data that are not relevant. We can also treat the missing values or empty columns of the data. Now this uh, portion is called data cleaning. This we'll see in the next uh, module but as of now just remember this thing, uh, once we have loaded the uh, CSV in the pandas data frame, all these uh, operations can be done. Now, how do we install pandas? First of all, use the following command to install pandas on your system. Pip install pandas, very similar to numpy and matplotlib that we've already seen. Now, I'll show you the basic installation and working of pandas in the Jupyter Notebook. So let's move to the practical section. So let us start with the practical section of pandas. First of all, let me show you how do you install pandas on your system. So pip install pandas, just write this command. And I already have pandas installed on my system. So it will show requirement already satisfied. Now to start working with pandas, first of all, I need to import pandas and with the LIS PD. So this is the standard LIS that everyone follows around the globe. Now, after writing this line of code, pandas is imported. Then the usual life cycle of a data science or ML project is that, first of all, you have a data set. You need to check whether the data set is cleaned or maybe it has some missing values or et cetera, et cetera. So data cleaning and data preparation process is done with the help of pandas. So what usually you have a data structure in pandas that is called data frame. So you what, what do you do? You have this function called pd dot read underscore csv this i'm just giving you a little introduction i'll cover each and every part uh, of this uh, code in detail in the next few videos just as of i'm giving you a little introduction so you provide the path of the csv file or the excel file or whatever data set that you're working with what this will do it will store the entire csv using this read csv into this pandas data frame and then you can perform all your data analysis or visualization or whatever you want to do based on the functions that are already given in the pandas. Now, once you have the clean data, then you, after doing all the analysis and visualization, you just run ML models on that data for your prediction. That the machine learning part will cover later uh, in this course, but this is the entire life cycle of a data science or a ML project. So I hope you are very clear with this. Now let's move to the next video and understand pandas in detail. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to the video on pandas series series in pandas is just like data frame it's just another 
important data, data structure of pandas in most of our data science projects we'll be working with the pandas data frames but in this just a little video i just want to give a small introduction about what is series so just you should know the there's uh, something called series that exists in pandas now what is a series a panda series is like a column in a table so data frame basically will have the entire table series is just like a column inside that whole table now it is a one dimensional array holding a data of any type so it the column just acts like a one dimensional array and it can hold any type of data it can be numerical data or it, uh, you can also store uh, english alphabet now sample code for a panda series first of all you need to import uh, pandas as pd now here we have a simple python list let's name it a this list contains three elements 172 now i want to make a new panda series so let's name it my web this will be a new panda series and this will be equal to pd dot we have a series function and inside this series function i'll give this list a so this will be converted into a panda series and it will be stored into this variable called my web fairly simple code and now when you try to print uh, my web you will have a panda series so i'll also show you this uh, will run the entire code when we move to the practical section but this is just a core concept now we can also store key value objects as series let's understand this code also again import pandas as pd now here i have a python dictionary so day 1 is 420 day 2 380 and day 3 390 again uh, in the previous code we were having a list this time we are working with a dictionary nothing changes now here again i have a pd dot series function inside this uh, i am giving sample the name of a dictionary that we have so i just pass the dictionary in this argument and it will be stored into my web and i will have a pandas series so this is these are the two examples of a series i'll i'll i showed you an example on a python list and then i have a key value object as panda series now let's move to the practical section and try to implement both the examples on a jupyter notebook for better understanding so now i'll show you the practical implementation of panda series first of all let me import pandas as pd in the next cell what i'm going to do i'll just make a simple python list let's say l1 and this will contain 3 6 8 10 and 30 it contains five different elements now i'll make a series one let's say s1 and this will be pd dot i have this function called series inside pandas and i just have to pass l1 the list that i have already made now if i run this i have a series in s1 and let me show you by printing it so s1 is just a pandas series this is the index number uh, the index number that we already discussed in numpy that the index starts from 0 and it goes on so 3 will be having index of 0 as this is the first element of the series now 6 will be having the index 1 this is the second element of series and so on so forth if i add few more elements let's say 22 and then if i run all the cells again now i have a new uh, element at fi fifth index or the sixth position and the value is 22 now let me show you one more example as key value objects in series so what i'll do i'll make a dictionary d1 and this dictionary will have let's say the first value is 10 um the second value is let's say 100 and the third is 1000 so this is a dictionary d1 and again i want to make another panda series from this dictionary so let's name it s2 and s2 will be pd dot series and this time i will pass d1 into the series function so again i have a panda series and this time let me print and show it to you so the keys of the dictionary will become the index positions of the panda series so this is the main difference between these two approaches of the panda series i hope you are very clear with the concept of series in pandas now in the next video we'll discuss about the most crucial concept of a data science journey that is the pandas data frames 
सो लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू